Made it through the darkest part of life. And now I see the sunrise. Hello. Warriors. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Him, you, me, we got this. Yeah. I was born for this, born for this, to I am, how could I forget, made it through the darkest part of night, and now I see the sunrise, I feel glorious, glorious, yeah, ooh, ooh. him, you, me, we got this. Hello everybody, it's in the middle of the day, how's everyone doing? How's my YouTube family doing? Hello, you guys. Yes, yes. I had to hop on because Wednesdays are my crazy dance days. But I wanted to hurry and get on, you guys, because we have a doctor update. It's been a month since I've been to the doctor, which is a huge accomplishment because I was going, like, every week, every other day every other week you know it was crazy there for a while so um but if you're new here my name is tia b stokes i'm a mother of five major legend maze taz and rose i'm married to the handsome andrew stokes and 515 516 days ago i was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia i am currently in remission remission so smash that like button Smash it for remission, you guys. Rosie's over here dancing. Um, we are excited. You guys, it is a beautiful, glorious day. I woke up today. I got a workout in. I was feeling really good. Um, I got my kids up and ready. We got ready, pushed people out to school. We drove to my doctor's appointment. We had a wonderful day. Um, my doctor's appointment was awesome, you guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So smash that like button if you want to hear my numbers for today. Okay? Smash it. 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 <laughs> Rosie's saying smash it. I have Rosie and Tazzy here with me. Okay. Um, all right. So my numbers, you guys. Remember when I used to tell you guys my numbers in the hospital all the time? Well, we're gonna wait. Remember, this day last year, you guys, was a day that uh, the whole world, there was a worldwide fast for me, you guys, last year this time. Um, because I was fighting COVID and I was fighting cancer and I was really, 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 really sick. And at the time, the doctors didn't know what to do with, with me because I was uh, pre-transplant. And so they had no idea what they, how they should treat me because they didn't want to ruin my chances for having a transplant. So they, I basically was in the hospital room, laying in bed, and I asked for prayers. And I asked for everyone just to pray for me that my body would fight this because I was also neutropenic. So I had like zero immune system at the time. Um, it was really, really scary, you guys. There was times where I honestly, like, I honestly didn't know because I was getting, I was put on oxygen. Um, I had pneumonia. I ended up getting pneumonia. I had acute kidney failure. Like, there was just so many different things happening during this time last year that it was really scary like really really scary so um my sister or somebody started a worldwide fast for me and you guys miracles are real heavenly father is amazing because everybody unified together and pulled their prayers fasted prayed brought their trust and faith believed in god and we prayed for a miracle and here i am today you guys here I am today. Here I am today, you guys. Here I am today. Um, standing before all of you guys. I'm still here doing my lives. Still here with my family. Still here with my kids. 
I remember in the hospital, I just prayed and just asked and just begged. I just, all I wanted was to play with my kids. That's it. I just wanted to play with my kids. That's it. I just, I remember telling God over and over and over again, I don't care. Like, I just want to play with my kids again. Like, I just want to be out of this hospital room playing with my kids. And here I am home all day long with my kids. Come here, Tazzy. Do you have a joke today? Tazzy has a joke today. We've got jokes left and right. And it's a miracle, you guys. Seriously. Heavenly Father is real. Our, our God is real. He listens. He answers our prayers. So whatever heart, I know there's so many people right now going through so many hard things and it breaks my heart. And I just want you to know to keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep believing in him. He will never let you down. Yeah, he will never let you down. He loves you. Huh. And he is right there. Even, you know, I even told Heavenly Father, like, even if I were to die during this time, it, it's still a miracle. Yeah, it's still a miracle. Even if I were, I remember praying and just telling him, you know, even if it is my time to go, I still believe. Like, I still believe in him and I believe in miracles. I believe that if it was my time to go, it was a miracle still. Like, it was still a miracle that I was able to do as much as I was able to do and live the life that I was able to live and have the kids that I was able to have and get married in the temple to my husband. Those those are all miracles. You okay, sissy? Those are all miracles. So even if the plan doesn't go exactly how you want it to go, and even if the plan doesn't go exactly how you intended it to be or wanted it to be, it's still miracles. There are still miracles in life, no matter how dark it may seem. Every good thing is a miracle. And I truly, truly believe that. Every good thing is a miracle, huh, Taz? Okay, get down. Don't You're going to make her fall, please. Get down so you don't make her fall, please. Thank you for listening. Um. Oh, it's okay, sis, but don't jump off the car like that, okay? But I wanted to share, you guys, um, my doctor's appointment visit. I'm great. So I'm just, I'm just over the moon grateful to be here today. Grateful to be alive. Grateful for the miracles I've seen in my life. Even through the bad times, there are still miracles. Every good thing is a miracle. If we can look at every good thing in our life as a miracle, how awesome would that be? Like every little thing, like getting a good parking spot is a miracle. Um, someone helping us out the door is a miracle. Um, being able to wake up in the morning is a miracle. Um, being able to talk to our loved ones is a miracle. Being able to have energy is a miracle. Being able, I mean, there's so many little, like they're just all little miracles. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm just so grateful. But, so I went to my doc's appointment today. Um, my, my numbers were good. I'm going to tell you my numbers in a second. Uh, I had high cholesterol. So one thing is they are worried about my cholesterol because of the, she said, well, I took this test. I can't remember what it's called. Lipid test or something. Um, but they tested my cholesterol and other things to see how healthy my heart was for my heart. And it came back a little elevated. So and I didn't fast before the test, so I'm going to take the test again in a month. But my numbers were really high. Okay, don't step on all the chips, buddy. My Mommy, numbers... another one. Another what? Are those the red things? What red things? The red things. Okay, after mommy's done, okay? Um, at, so my numbers were a little elevated in my cholesterol, so they are... She is a little bit worried about my cholesterol, which it's okay because she said that I need to eat healthier. I'm not that bad of an eater, actually, but she said because of the prednisone and because of all the prednisone side effects and obviously the weight gain with prednisone and all the stuff that comes along with steroids, um, I have to watch my diet. So I have to start eating better, guys which I don't feel like I eat that bad, but maybe less cookies or less, I don't know. I've even been cutting back on my sugar, but I don't know. So that's one thing, but it's still, it's still, it's still 
awesome. It's okay. I feel like I've already progressed a lot, but maybe it's just I need to progress even more. So I feel like I've already progressed in um, the prednisone, weight gain, cholesterol area. Like I've, I feel like I'm getting better already, but I feel like I can, I guess today at my doctor's appointment, I need to do even better. So, so she said it took a while. It took what? Seven months for the weight to come on. So it's going to take a while for the weight to come off, <laughs> but we got this. We can do it. You know, I, I feel like I look great. Honestly, like I feel like I look fine, um, but it's not about my looks. It's about being healthy. So it's about being healthy and about uh, having a healthy heart. So they don't want me to obviously die of heart failure or something. So, okay, go get a drink. Go grab a drink. Uh, go grab another drink in the fridge. Yeah, go grab a drink. Um, so that was one thing. So we can do hard things, right, you guys? We look amazing. I know I, I, and I know I look amazing. <laughs> not that, but I'm not like, it's not about like the looks for me. It's just about obviously today at my doctor's appointment, it was a big, big uh, reminder that health is important. Heart health is important. Hold on. Pause. making healthier choices. Um, she did say I should go on a Mediterranean diet, whatever that is. I'm not quite sure what a Mediterranean diet is. I'm not really a fan of diets to begin with. I'm not a diet fan. Um, I never, because I've, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Mommy's got you. Because I've, I've had <laughs> troubles with, um, an eating disorder in my past and after I got healthy I really tried to stay away from diets and lint like all that stuff okay it's right here your straw's right here honey okay there you go say thank you mom thank you mom anyways so we got this though we can do hard things uh but as of my blood counts you guys my white blood count was 5.4 Yes, that's awesome. My red blood count was 38.9. Whoop, whoop. My platelets were 228. Woohoo! That's good. And my ANC was 3.9, you guys, 3.9. So remember when all those numbers used to be like zeros? <laughs> now we are living a normal life. Don't do that, Tazzy. You're going to fall, baby. Please get off. Get off so you don't fall. Get off. Okay, go drink that. You're going to spill it in here, please. Yeah. yeah, go drink it over there. Hers is right there. All right, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for being a part of my tribe. Thank you for loving my family. Thank you for all the prayers and the fast. Like I said, last year was really scary, and we're grateful for where we're at today. Seriously, so freaking grateful for where we're at today. And miracles happen every single day and life is a gift and we are just grateful to be living in it right no don't step in it please don't step in it okay with that i will leave you guys with a word of prayer okay let's say prayer full dreams okay dear Heavenly father we're grateful for this day thank you for all our many blessings thank you for our family here thank you for all these amazing people that are part of our youtube channel and and grateful for their love and their support and grateful for all their love and miracles and positivity. Please help us to be more like thee and please help us to be grateful. We're grateful for the good news that we got today. Grateful for all the happy happiness that we have and please help us to spread it to all those around us. We say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Give me five. Give me five. Say I'm awesome. Say, I'm beautiful. Say, I'm happy. Say, I'm positive. Say, I got this. 
got this. Say, we got this. I got this. <laughs> yeah. Say, I love me. Oh, I ah. <laughs> okay, we love you guys. Aloha means hello, goodbye, and we love you. Good night or good day.